And you can add to that list. We haven't got the graphic up and running yet. You can add to that list. Bernard Hopkins, the rematch with Chad Dawson. You saw the first one here. Ended with that bad throw. It was ugly as sin. Well, Dawson was given the decision. Then it was declared no cont, if I'm not mistaken. In which case, he retained at 46. Or oh, something, he's 47 now. Bernard Hopkins, I think that's on April the 14th. Could be wrong. I don't have everything in front of me. We have that here on Box Nation. I've also got uh, plenty of emails and stuff online and also tweets. You can get me at Big Daddy Bunts. And plenty of you have been getting me. I've cleared up one or two things and certain people making all sorts of stuff. Now, this weekend, we are in Cardiff. World title action. From the, I think it's called the Motor Point Arena. It used to be the old Cardiff Indoor Arena. Joe Kawasaki thought there a good few times. Had some good nights down there, actually, to be perfectly honest with you. And this weekend, it's WBO Light Heavyweight Championship action featuring Tommy Carpensi, an American who's been spending an awful lot of time in various training camps. In fact, if you actually look into it, he's been with about half a dozen of the last five, last ten or so world light heavyweight champions inside their camps. And he's fighting our very own Nathan Cleverly. Last seen on this show, swapping the numbers. I don't not mean telephone numbers, I mean accountant numbers, you know, doing maths, with Carol Vorderman. Tonight, he'll be talking to me and there'll be no trick questions. No conundrums for him to get through. Nathan, are you there? Steve. How are you, Nathan? You okay? I'm fine, thanks. Nathan, we're getting closer to it, and I'm told the tickets have gone well, and it will turn into a very lively homecoming. Yeah, it's been a great response with, with ticket sales. Um, I think we've nearly nearly sold out now, so that's um, a great boost to me. Um, the country getting behind their champion, and it's, it's going to be a great night, Steve. I'm, I'm really looking forward to to getting the fight on now and, and uh, getting it underway and, and putting on an exciting display. Now, is there a chance with a fighter like Carpensi, is there a chance that you somehow sort of take your foot off the pedal slightly? Because you look at his record and he's not one of the big big champions or former champions, but, the, but you know this thing about him training with all of these champions over the last four or five years. Is there a chance you could perhaps take your eyes off the prize, Nath? Yeah, it's always a risk of that um, with with an unknown quantity like carpentry. But in all fairness, I've trained better for this fight than I did for my last fight. Much better, actually. Um, so I can't use that as an excuse now sure. going into the fight. Um, i just got to make sure there's no slip-ups um, and, and keep, the, keep the streak going. Yeah, keep the winning streak going. I, I suppose you saw the... Result, you may have even seen the fight from the weekend. Uh, Tavoris Cloud, the IBF champion, getting a split and a very lucky, a fortunate split decision over the former champion, Gabriel Campillo. Uh, did you see that, Nate? Have you heard about that result? Um, I've heard about it. I, I, watched a few, uh, I watched a few rounds of it. Uh, I, watched, I watched like five rounds of the fight. Um, I, could see, I could see which way he was going. Um, so Campillo was starting to throw boxing in the end. Um, so yeah, that's that's um, yeah. We're, that would be a, a good fight for me after after carpentry, provided no slip ups. Now, what about the, in the built in the in the last few days here, Nathan? Are you the kind of guy, especially as a homecoming, bit of pressure on your shoulders, light heavyweight championship, your belt up for grabs, big fights down the line? Do you, are you feeling any sort of pressure, any sort of, any sort of tenseness? Does it feel like you're going into a decently sized fight this weekend? Um. In terms of pressure, I, I suppose there is going to be more pressure on the fight, but um, I think it, it all depends on how much pressure I put on myself, really. Um, and at this present time, I'm kind of uh, enjoying the moment, going to uh, thrive on the, the occasion, um, and, and just enjoy it, really. Um, I think I've had enough experience now. Um, even though I'm still young, I've had quite a few big fights. I fought on big bills um, in Wales, in the Millennium Stadium. I fought in the CIA before. So I, I think you know, if it, you, you can't buy that kind of experience. And I think that's going to put me in good stead, really. Put you in good stead, I think you will. Listen, Nathan, it's been a pleasure talking to you. I'll see you down there towards the end of the week and see you Saturday Night Live and exclusive here on Box Nation. Nathan Clemson, keep the